All right, Mac, how you doing this afternoon? Doing good, man. How you? Doing all right. Welcome to UCF. Yeah. I guess I just want to start off with what attracted you to Orlando. Uh, I say the environment. You know, it was great looking at it, coming back to Florida. You know, seeing the palm trees in the air. You know, and the coaching staff, the coaching staff, the players. You know, it was it was a circle of everything for real. For real. You're you're arriving to a DB room where Coach Gus ended up going really hard with the portal. Like, there's a lot of new faces. So, what's it like being a part of such a DB room with such a vast and different experiences from all across the country? Um, it's great. You know, we all have our different personalities. You know, but when it all comes together, we all love the same thing. That's football. So, you know, just loving the game of football just brings us together. One thing I was I was really intrigued by is when looking back at at UAB, you were a team captain yeah, for the Blazers. Yeah, yeah. So what's it like to come from there over to over to here? Because uh, over to here, because obviously you know Ethan, you know Ethan Barr, RJ Hart, and them were voted mm -hmm. team captains. So what's it like being you know having that role on one team and then continue a college football career now, kind of a different role, not on that. Um, I say it, it was it definitely was a tough tough decision. You know, like coming from a team captain and then coming into the UCF and being a newcomer. So um, I just take it for what it is. You know, if, it, if they need me to be a leader and need me to stand up and talk, I will. But, you know, I'm just here to play my part and just do whatever it takes for the team. Yeah. So what's the difference between 2023 Mac McWilliams versus the 2024 Mac McWilliams? Uh, I definitely say my mental. You know, I've been I've been thinking way smarter. I've been thinking way harder on, on different things than I was last year, you know. Uh, last year, I'll say I ain't have the right mindset coming into the coming into football. I had a little something going on in my life, you know. But uh, I wouldn't make that as no excuse or nothing. But I definitely say 2024. I just been on a, my mind's been clear, and I just been focusing on the, the main thing, which is football. What What would you say is the biggest thing that this D DB room ne needs to do, or yourself, between now and kickoff week one? Um, just stay consistent. You know, we've been every. Uh, all the practices we've been coming out, you know, just staying true to what Coach Roof has for us. Which game are you looking forward to the most? Uh, I'd definitely probably say that Florida game in the swamp. What, what's it like to get the chance to play in that? Uh, you get look forward to get a chance to play in that venue. Uh, just I like I like when it's packed out. I like the crowd. You know, that's when I can show my best abilities. That's what I definitely say. You know, I was talking to uh, t talking to Braden earlier. Talked to, uh, they, my colleague asked him about who on the DB unit would do would do a four by one relay together, and talked about you doing the uh, you doing I think the lead off course because you were mad fast. So, what's it like getting a chance to be you know be on this DB room, a bunch of fast guys? There? Um, it's great, man. You know, Braden, he's fast himself. You know, we got a lot of fast cats. So, I uh. I definitely say, if I had my own team in a four by one, definitely Braden would definitely be on it, to be sure. So, what is the what would you say is the biggest thing that the rest of the college football world needs to know about this DB unit right here? Uh, the biggest thing that we come to play football at the end of the day, you know, we gonna we gonna lace our shoes up just like our opponents, and we just gonna get out. What's the uh, Coach Gus, you know, you weren't here for that, obviously, but Coach Gus has been very vocal, was very vocal, was very vocal at the end of last season about how it didn't was wasn't lived, didn't live up to his expectations. And day one, day one, this fall camp, you know, he's coming out, you know, swinging in terms of like, you know, last year wasn't up to expectations, got to be better. So when you look at at Coach Gus and how he coaches, what's like the biggest thing that you see out of him and what that brings to the team this season? Um, the biggest thing I say is his heart. You know. He loves everybody like his, like they're his own. You know, so he has a big heart and he just loves the game of football. Got a chance to play CFP twenty five? Oh uh, yes, I do. But currently, my game is out of whack right now. I didn't mess my HDMI port up, so it's in the shot right now. But I should be able to have it tomorrow. All right, all right. You got any good at it? Oh uh, yeah, I definitely. I see. I played it when it first came out, but ever since fall camp started, I didn't, my game had messed up and I had to have it, have it in the shop. No, nah, I feel. I, no, nah, I feel. I feel it. You got it. Who would you see? Who would you say is the best on the team? Uh, I'd probably say KJ. You know, it's funny. I was. Uh, we were talking on the offense, and R KJ and RJ were both 
and we're both kind of you know barbing with each other about yeah. the game when it when it came out and what's it what's the atmosphere what kind of atmosphere has kj brought to this um, team it's great man you know having a having a qb like kj man you know um he's not he's not real talking to the defensive guy so i really we, we have we be having conversations but it really don't be nothing like that but you know kj he's a great guy he's a great quarterback he's uh he does things that people that looks at him a certain kind of way but that's not him but you know he does it great for the school well i mean even just you know like even if you don't have one-on-one -on -one conversation you know the, yeah, like yeah. the presence that he has yeah you know? definitely his presence uh it makes a lot you know um i say just him being so big not not being as a like quarterback fit as his weight but you know it's all at the end of the day it's football so i love kj so, so uh, what does it mean to you to get a chance to play as you should play as yourself in, in in that game considering how long it's been uh, man it means a lot man you know i ain't played ncaa since uh i think i think it was 2014 was the last one so it's been a little minute but it was definitely nice playing with my own self has it has it has it brought this team together? Because I've been seeing a lot of pictures of you guys playing together. It seems like everyone's kind of been, uh, most yeah. people playing together. Yeah, it definitely it definitely bring up on. You know, we we go in the uh, little players' lines and play all the time with each other, little little matchups. You know, UCF on UCF. <laughs> man, that must yeah, man, that must be a fun one. Yeah. Um, so what what would you what would you say? If, like, how would how would you? When you look at this DB room, who has a chance to to really make a name for themselves this year? Uh, I definitely say Antoine Jackson, coming from ECU. He's a good. He's young. He's young. He's very young, but he has talent as to where he can play at right now. What's the biggest thing you think Night Nation needs to know about this team? Uh, that we come to win, definitely. Awesome. Well, best of luck both on the virtual and IRL football yeah. fields. Yes, sir.